The resolution is adopted. Wide agreement on the House floor Thursday morning with a vote to condemn Iran's attack on Israel over the weekend. But what to do about it is another matter. House Speaker Mike Johnson's four-bill plan with aid for Israel, Ukraine, and Taiwan, plus new sanctions on Iran, is set to come up for a vote on Saturday. It has the backing of President Biden, who wrote in the Wall Street Journal, there are moments in history that call for leadership and courage. This is one of them. But many of Johnson's Republican colleagues are a hard no on the package. We're going to borrow money that we don't have, not to defend America, but to defend other nations. Uh, we're going to uh, do nothing to secure our border. Conservative members insist a border deal for the U.S. be included before sending billions to other countries. Some of my colleagues want the Speaker of the House to have a magic wand. If we could close the border ourselves, we would have done it a long time ago. Johnson is handling the border separately from the $95 billion set of foreign aid bills. What they're sending to us is very similar to the supplemental that the uh, Senate passed. The Senate is also facing a thorny overseas policy issue. On Monday, the House reauthorized a warrantless surveillance law used to eavesdrop on foreigners, but the Senate has yet to act. The program expires Friday night. In Washington, Caroline Shively, Fox 32, Chicago.